Zach Dixon here from Zach Dixon Coaching and today we're going to be talking about how important living in the present moment is instead of always focusing on the future because I used to do this all the time and I just feel like I need to discuss it because I, th I see a lot of people struggling with this you know they can't be present they always have to keep themselves busy to feel like they're worthy or feel like they've got self-worth and I can tell you this right now that Everyone can make an awesome future for themselves, you know, you can be like stuck right now, but you can make an amazing future for yourself in your head. You can say, oh, I'm going to be doing this, I'm going to be happy in the future, but that doesn't make you happy. You're seeing something that isn't real, and that's good in some cases, you know, you need to make the impossible possible, but you really need to understand that the present moment is, and the future is now. The future is now. Because we can make a big future up, but if we're not happy now being that person, trying to be that person, you know, starting to be happy, feeling like that person's going to be, we'll never actually be happy. You know, we'll never be appreciative of what we've done. We'll never be appreciative of where we're going. So I really want to talk about how important being in the present moment is because people keep themselves busy all the time. You know, they have high expectations on what they should be doing. You know, oh, I, sh I have to have this car. You know, I have to win this comp. You know, I have to have this person in my life. If I don't, I feel like shit. And that's as simple as it is, you know. People feel like that. You know, and people have high expectations all the time, which makes them feel helpless and worthless. You know, so, so a simple phrase would be, instead of being so... Expect, expecting things to happen, you know, I have to be this to be happy, you know, I have to have this external thing to be happy. What if you could just realize that you can just appreciate the opportunity? Instead of expecting things, expecting it has to be perfect in this way and this way, just appreciative. Be appreciative of every single, to every single thing that you have. What if you could do that? You know, what if you could really enjoy every single day? You know, not having all these amazing stresses saying, oh, I've got to do this, I've got to do that, I've got to expect this, I've got to be this person by this time. What if you could just enjoy the process and be appreciative of the opportunities that you have? Because every single day we have opportunities, whether it's just talking to someone one-on-one. -on -one. I couldn't, I, I used to struggle with that because I couldn't just be present then. I'd be focusing on the future, I'd be focusing on what I had to do. You know, I had to make this amount of money and if I don't, I won't, you know, I won't be happy. You know, oh my God, my business isn't growing. What, oh my God, what do I do? I'd just be expecting things too much. And how I became fulfilled from that was taking the shift. Instead of expecting things, I just appreciated it. What a shift that would be. What a concept. Really, just appreciative. Appreciative of everything. You know, appreciative of having a shower. You know, we take it for granted, the water coming down. Just be appreciative of that. Reflecting on how far you've came. Because sometimes, I look back six months ago and I... And I couldn't actually be happy from how far I've came. I literally couldn't. And I was like, how can I be happy? And I wasn't reflecting. Because really, six months ago, you're a different person. Six months from now, you're going to be a different person. And the way we become happy now is we start appreciating what we have. Appreciating, looking back, saying, wow, look how far I've came. Look what kind of person I am. What if you could enjoy every single day? What if you could enjoy everything and start being the person that you want to be right now? Because the future is now. Your one goal should be how can I be happy every day? How can I be excited every day? How can I give to people? Make them feel loved. Because if you can make other people feel loved and make other people feel happy, you will light up like a Christmas tree. You know, it's clicking the button. I'm happy and I give that to other people. It's an energy and it starts with you. If you think you need something external to make you happy, you're going to go down and you're going to be stressed, you're going to be depressed, you're going to be anxious all the freaking time. But if you can just realize something, that you are worthy, you know, you are worthy, you are strong, you have the courage and the strength to be happy within yourself right now. And instead of looking in the future, becoming something, one day I'll have that, one day, no, one day is now. The future is now, and it starts now. So whatever I think now, if I want to be happy, that's going to lead into my future in the next five seconds, the next ten minutes, the next hour. Oh, my God. Each thought, each minute now connects to the next minute, to the next minute. So we need to start being happy now. My one goal every day is to be happy, happy within myself, and I'll give that to every single person. What if that was your only goal? I believe if that was your only goal, everything will fall into place. Everything that you want will fall into place. And if you just get that concept down, instead of trying to get things to be happy, I'll happily achieve it. 
I'll be happy now and everything will fall into place. And the stress just leaves your body. It's amazing. So what if you could do that? Start living in the present moment and realize that the future is now. The future is now. Whatever I think now, oh, the next five seconds is the future. So start being the person you want to be now and everything, everything that you want in your life will fall into place. I promise you. So live with passion. Boom.